Good morning. We're still in Matthew's Gospel, and we're still in the ninth chapter. And if you read on in this chapter, you'll come across an event where Jesus heals somebody who is a deaf mute. In other words, he couldn't hear and he couldn't speak. He's called a demoniac because the people thought that this was in fact created by a spiritual entity, making him both deaf and dumb. Of course, the truth is simply that if a person is deaf, then they can't speak because they can't even hear their own voice. But Jesus comes across this person and he heals them. Now, if you look into the teaching of the rabbis, you will find there that they were always looking forward to the coming of the Messiah, the Mashiach. And they said, when Mashiach comes, when the Messiah comes, he will be able to do certain things. And when he does these things, we will know it is him. The first one was that he should heal lepers. Leprosy was never healed. Person was diagnosed with leprosy. They had to stay away from their homes. They were never healed. They simply died of the disease. There had been accounts in the past of people like Naaman being healed, but very, very rare occasions. And these people were not part of the Jewish community anyway. But it was said that when Messiah came, he would be able to heal those who were lepers. He would also, it was said, be able to heal deaf mutes. You see, the trouble with a deaf mute is the person couldn't hear you when you were praying for them. So there was no way you can create a reaction in the person because all they can see are your lips moving. They can't hear a word that you're saying. So they cannot react in any way to the prayer that you're offering. But it says when Messiah comes, he will be able to heal the deaf mute. And the third great messianic or ministry was that when Messiah comes, he will be able to heal people born blind. Now, there was lots of eye infections in this part of the world because of the climate and because of the dust. And people very often went blind. But it was said of Messiah when he came, he would heal a person who had been born blind. And Jesus, in his ministry, carries out all of these different signs. He heals the leper. He heals the person who has been born blind. And he also heals the deaf mute. Now, those who are watching had to decide who Jesus was. They had to make a decision as to how they were going to relate to him. You see, if, if he was the Messiah, then they had to hand over the authority of the temple to this man. If he was the Messiah, they would have to submit to him in all areas of their lives. If he was the Messiah, then the whole of society would have to change. They didn't quite know what to make of him. They saw the signs he was doing. They recognized them. And if you remember, right at the very end of his ministry, when he heals the man who is born blind, they call the man to them and they say, who did this for you? And he said, Jesus did this for me. And they say, well, what do you make of this man? He said, he must be the Messiah. Now, this person was reacting in this way because that is where he, he'd been taught. They'd been taught that when Messiah came, he would heal the one born blind. And they become so angry at his testimony that they literally excommunicate him and they throw him out from the society because he had claimed that Jesus was the Messiah. The one thing they were terrified of is that people should accept Jesus as Messiah, and yet he was doing these wonderful signs. So they made a decision. They said, 
if we accept him as Messiah, then everything has got to change. It must be by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that he's casting out these demons. It must be with the powers of darkness that he's bringing about these healings. Can you really think of anything more stupid than that? But that was the decision they came to. They did not want to do it Jesus' way. That was the decision they came to. Look out into the world at the moment. You see many things going on. The gospel going out to many people in many different ways. But many people are suspicious of it. And they say, is this truly of God? Well, all I can say is the gospel is going out. The word is being preached. This must be the work of God. Amen.